One of the most frequent questions asked by growers is, what size pump do I need? Well, the most common answer is, how much water do you need? Today we'll cover the most common type of irrigation pump for greenhouses and nurseries, and then we'll present how to select the best one to fit your needs. The most common type of pump growers use is a centrifugal pump mounted onto an electric motor. There are other mounting options, but for this pump example, we will show it close coupled onto a five horsepower, three phase electrical motor. Notice the inlet and outlet ports. The inlet is bigger and the outlet is smaller. Water is sucked up into the pump, spun around and shot out of the outlet. Note, it has a suction pipe that pulls water to the pump and has a discharge pipe that pushes water away from the pump. Now let's talk about what it takes to size the right pump. Pumps by design are engineered to deliver water by pushing water from the source all the way to the location to where the water is needed. The pumps that deliver water this area pushed water down a hill, across a field, over a thousand feet, and then up a small slope just to get the water to this location. All the pressure loss associated with friction loss, elevation changes, friction loss through fittings such as pipes, T's, L's, valves, etc. must be provided for by the pump. That pressure must be provided by the pump just to get water to the end location to start irrigating. All sprinkler systems and drip systems, even like this one, have a minimum and a maximum flow and pressure requirement. That too must be provided for in the selection of the best pump for the job. The, the term that pump manufacturers use to describe the demand needed for a pump's output is called feet of head. Feet of head is the pressure stated in PSI or pounds per square inch in which the pump must pressurize the system. The second part of the pump choice is flow capacity. It is expressed in gallons per minute flow capacity or in simpler, simpler terms GPM. There are low flow, low pressure systems as in this case of a drip tape system over potted flowering crops. There are low flow, high pressure type situations as in this case of misters used in propagation. There are types of high pressure, high flow situations, as in this case of whiz heads. High pressures typically use much more electricity and cost more over time. The term that pump manufacturers use to describe a pump's performance in operating pressures and flows is called a pump curve. The pump curve is, a, is the result of a hydraulic engineer's test that shows the results of a particular pump's performance stated in a term called efficiency. Your irrigation designer's goal is to pick out and select a pump that will have the highest efficiency rating. He or she will have many different pump curves to choose from. Now let's do an example of selecting a pump for a given area. This block of wobblers needs 200 gallons per minute at 25 psi. The supply pipe is a 4 inch Schedule 40 PVC pipe that runs 1,050 feet distance and has an elevation change of net 13 feet higher. Adding up the friction loss of the pipe, the fittings and the components over that distance to the demand needed by the sprinklers, we've determined that the pump that performs best has 101 feet of head at 200 gallons per minute. We compared seven other pump curves until we found the best pump offered from this manufacturer. It has the highest efficiency. A few other pumps might have worked, but they were not as efficient. It's important to select the right pump with the highest efficiency since potentially thousands of dollars could be wasted in the form of electricity over the lifespan of the pump. So to wrap things up, it's essential that you do your homework. Get accurate information to your irrigation specialist so that he or she can make accurate calculations to select a pump that will give years of long-lasting service at an efficient level.